Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we delve into the significant developments in Iraq's journey towards monetary reform, with key figures like Prime Minister Sudani, Central Bank Governor Illich, and Kurdish leader Barzani at the forefront. The pressure is mounting to achieve critical milestones such as the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, RIT, increased purchasing power for citizens, and the implementation of the hydrocarbon law, HCL. Let's break down these developments and understand why this pressure is actually a positive force for change. In recent months, there's been an unmistakable momentum building towards Iraq's monetary reform. This reform aims to stabilize and strengthen the Iraqi dinar, potentially leading to a revaluation. The goal here is not just to enhance the currency's value but to ensure that this value translates into tangible benefits for Iraqi citizens. Prime Minister Sudani has been vocal about his commitment to economic reform. He understands that a stable and strong currency is essential for attracting foreign investment and boosting economic growth. By pushing for these changes, Sudan aims to lay the groundwork for a more prosperous Iraq. Central Bank Governor Illich plays a crucial role in this reform process. Under his leadership, the Central Bank of Iraq has been implementing measures to strengthen the dinar. This includes enhancing the country's foreign reserves and ensuring the stability of the banking system. Alok's efforts are crucial because a stable and reliable banking system is the backbone of any successful monetary reform. The recent installation of new ATMs equipped with modern technology across Iraq is a testament to these efforts. These ATMs are not just about convenience, they symbolize a step towards a more digitized and efficient financial system. This modernization is essential for integrating Iraq into the global economy and making its currency more competitive. Kurdish leader Barzani's involvement is particularly significant regarding the hydrocarbon law, HCL. The HCL is vital because it dictates how oil revenues, Iraq's primary source of income, are distributed among its regions. Ensuring the fair distribution of these revenues is crucial for national unity and economic stability. Barzani's cooperation with the central government signals a move towards resolving long-standing issues related to revenue sharing. This cooperation is essential for creating a stable and predictable economic environment, which is a prerequisite for successful monetary reform. The combined efforts of Sudani, Ilik, and Barzani are creating a positive pressure that is necessary for driving these reforms forward. This pressure is not a sign of crisis but rather an indication that the key players are committed to achieving their goals. For the citizens of Iraq, these reforms promise increased purchasing power. This means that their money will go further, improving their quality of life. Additionally, a stronger dinar and a fair distribution of oil revenues can lead to better public services and infrastructure, further boosting the country's development. In conclusion, the heat is truly on for Iraq's monetary reform. The collaborative efforts of leaders like Sudani, Ilik, and Barzani are paving the way for significant economic changes. This is a critical moment for Iraq, with the potential to bring about lasting positive changes for its citizens. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates on this exciting journey towards a brighter economic future for Iraq. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into global economic developments.